Good morning. Uh, all right. Uh, today it's going to be our last class. So we are going to do a couple of things. Uh, first, if you remember at the beginning of this course, you answered five or six problems. Uh, I just want to talk about the financial issues of the class. So I'm going to give you the same questions um, today. So you have five or ten minutes to answer that. And then I'm going to work on one example that I started at Monday class. Um, if we have time, I'll be, you can ask me a question, question about the homework that we did. Then I will talk briefly about the exam, final exam, which is going to be on Friday at 5 p.m. And the last thing that we are going to do would be the class um, evaluation. All right, so let's start with this.
All right. So the exam has four problems. One of the problems is uh, similar to the example that I'm working on that today. Uh, so uh, please take note needed, and you will see something like this on the exam as one of the last problems. All right, we are given with two alternatives. These two are investment projects. They can be two equipment that they would like to purchase. But here we are given the two investment projects. Alternative A and alternative B. And some information have been provided. So <clears throat> alternative A needs $6,000 for initial investment. And the depreciable life for this one is five years. For this one is three years. So we can depreciate this over five years for this one for three years. The economic life can be different than the depreciable life, but for alternative A is five, and for alternative B is five. So as you see, these are different for alternative B. We were asked to use the depreciable depreciation method for alternative A by using the straight line, and for alternative B, we are supposed to use MACRS. What is the class of the uh, this project, I mean, this asset is three years because it's a depreciable life is three. The book value at the end of depreciable life is given as zero, um, and the market value after five years is zero for this one. Uh, for this one is one thousand. Why do we need the? I mean, if it was different than zero, then since we are given with the S straight line, then we want to find. Depreciation, we should say cost basis minus salvage value or market value, whatever we can sell in the market, dividing by depreciable life is five. So here the cost basis is six thousand, but salvage value here is zero. If it was something different, then you should consider that on your calculation. This investment project is making $4,000 per year versus $5,800 for alternative B, and the effective in, uh, income tax rate is 34% for both. And we are given with the minimum attractive rate of return. This is the interest rate that we would like to evaluate the alternatives. And the question is which alternative should be selected? So for these types of the problem, you need to form uh, a table for each alternative. Table has different columns. End of year, I mean year, it's first column. And then before tax, cash flow diagram, CFD. Then column, this this is column B, uh, so column A, column B. Column C is depreciation, we calculate depreciation. Column D is taxable income. This column tells us how can we calculate the tax. Um, and then, after we calculate B, we can find the income tax, how much tax And last column is after tax. Cash flow tax. Cash flow tax. So I'm starting with alternative A. I'm gonna do this for alternative B as well. And after I calculate 
I find this color, I can find the net present works if I want to do with the net present works analysis by using 8% and compare the net present works of column F for alternative A and alternative B. So for alternative A, I'm looking at the useful life, it's five years. So present time, one, two, three, four, five. So at present time, which is initial investment, I need $6,000. So it's going to be $6,000. It's negative. I pay. Something. So I, I'll check all information that we have been provided. So up to, uh, we don't have any operation and return cost. We only have the revenue here, which is 4,000 every year. 4,000. 4,000. And the salary value or the market value is zero dollars. So I can't, we can't, we don't get any money after uh, useful life of this investment project. So, Different problem might have different uh, roles. We might have operation and maintenance class. We might have no revenue. So whatever we have, you just summarize here. And then we go through the depreciation. Depreciation, I mean, the initial cost is this one. For this one, we don't have, at the initial year, we don't have any depreciation. It's going to start from the first year. For how many years we are going to depreciate that? Five years. What is the method? Is the straight line. So D, P would be 6,000 minus zero divided by five, 1,200. It's a cost, so I put negative 200 because it's kind of cost. And taxable income is summation of these two, B plus C. Whatever is before tax after that plus depreciation, considering negative sign for uh, depreciation. So negative 6,000 plus zero, negative 6,000, 4,000 plus negative 1,200 is value 2,800. I just repeat this for our. Income tax is going to be tax rate, which is 34 percent, multiplied by uh, column D. Let me negative negative D times 34 percent. This negative because it's a uh, it's a cost. I just want to have. This column as a uh, cost. And <clears throat> you should be careful about using this equation because for the first one, we don't use this, so we don't have any cost for uh, the initial cost that we paid at the present time. So I don't multiply 6,000 by 34%. I will start from this 28% negative times 34%. It's 952. Negative. Negative 952. Negative 952. And now we are ready to find the tax uh, after tax cash flow diagram. Column F is summation of column B and column E. 
whatever was the cash flow that I even before tax, then we consider the tax and the at the amount. So we make sure that you use the negative sign here. So negative nine hundred fifty two we should pay as a tax four thousand dollar plus negative six thousand. <coughs> negative six thousand plus zero, it's gonna be negative six thousand. Four thousand minus nine hundred fifty. Same thing for all the main column. Why are you using four thousand so the twenty eight? This is tax seven income. Okay. Why do we need to calculate this? Because we would like to find the tax, income tax. So basically, this column doesn't exist in reality. We just calculate this to, to lower the tax, the tax of an income, by uh, subtracting the depreciation cost from uh, before tax cash flow income. So um, it's going to help us to lower the tax. But what is really what what exists is gonna be the before tax cash flow diagram. So we consider column B, which is four thousand, not twenty eight hundred dollar. This column is gonna help us to calculate income tax. That's a good question because I have seen these mistakes before. Uh, couple of, one point here. Sometimes. When you do calculate taxable income, here we got positive, but you may get negative value. Suppose instead of positive 2800, you get negative value. So you, you just paid something out of the pocket at the end of second year. So then when you multiply this, the negative tax is going to change to the positive. And you should consider the positive sign because the government share in your loss and benefit. So you can get benefit on your loss for any year which has negative uh, sign. So in this example, you don't see this, but you might see sometimes. And I think in the homework problem, you had some examples with the negative sign on taxable income. So then it's going to be added to the after tax <coughs> So now you can calculate <coughs> net present force of this. First here we have negative 6,000, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, they have positive 3,000. 48 for all years starting from year one up to year five. So net present force at the rate of 8% is going to be negative 6,000 plus we have uniform series of the payment 30, 48 times P over A interest rate is 8% and N is 5. It's going to be 61, 69. Um, here I ask you, I didn't specify which method you should do. The easiest method was net present force or equivalent uniform and other. I could ask you uh, the other methods as well. Um, let me go first on the alternative B, then I will talk about the other methods that you can use. Any questions so far? So, 
So second alternative has how many years to buy economic life? It's five years. So it should we don't look at three years. So zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Initial cost for this is negative ten thousand dollars. The revenue here. Yeah. We have fifty eight hundred dollars. And I have we can get one thousand dollars at the end of fifth year. So I can add one thousand dollars here, but I would like to to show you um, the difference between these two. So I, I just add another five here and treat them in different uh, rows. So still we are on year five. We have one thousand, but you can add it here, one thousand dollars. Now we should look at depreciation. First year we don't have any depreciation, uh, so it's going to be zero. Don't consider the depreciation for this because this is not the right thing. So depreciation is a starting from year one. How can we? Which method we should use is MACRS. Uh, it's three-year class we are given. For three-year class, the percentage is 33.33 times $10,000. The value of investment or the asset is going to be 3300 uh, D2 would be 44, $4,445. And similarly, uh, D3 and D4. So I'm just writing negative, it's a cost, negative 3,333, negative 4,445. Uh, D3 would be negative uh, 1,481, negative 1,481, and D4. It's a three-year cl class, but we have four depreciation because we are using the half, the IRS is using the half-year convention, so it's going to be negative 741. What would be the depreciation for year five? Zero because we don't, it's a four year class, we cannot depreciate this anymore. And then tax and income, B plus C, just add them up, negative 10,000, uh, 5,800 plus negative 3,333, it's gonna be uh, negative two, four, six, seven, just add them up. This we got negative. Positive. A positive side. Yep. Thirteen fifty six. So we, we, we make money, so tax revenue income is positive here on first year, second year we make money. 5,800 minus 481 is gonna be 4,319, and 58 minus this is gonna be 5,090. For year five, 5,800 here and 1,000. Five years, year five. Wouldn't it be 
Yes, thanks for catching. All right, now, now you can calculate the tax, income tax. Again, don't multiply this initial cost by negative, don't multiply this by 34% and have this here. So you are not gonna pay any tax or you are not gonna get any benefit on this. Um, you start from here, negative, don't forget about the negative. Negative of 2467 times 34% is going to be negative 839. This one, negative 1356. And negative 461. And for this one, negative 1468. For 5059, uh, it's going to be negative 1720. And 5800 on year 5. And year 5, it's going to be negative 1972. And 1,000 times 34% negative 304. You should pay tax on the market value of this. Yes. So now the goal is finding this color and this color. So these two are going to help us to get the value of uh, income tax. Then you can add them up to find after tax, just including the tax. Negative 10,000 you pay for this investment. How much money you get? Negative uh, 5,800 minus 839. 4,061. And 1,000 minus 340 is going to be 660. Uh, you could add them up. I just wanted to show you as to separate them. Now, if you want to look at the net present force. Uh, of this cash flow diagram, I don't see any standard pattern. Negative 10,000, it's some different number. So what you can do, you can just treat them as a uh, single payment. So negative 10,000 Year one is four nine six one. Year two is five three three nine. Year three is four three three two four zero eight zero. And summation of these two four thousand uh, four hundred.
and then find the net present force of this negative 10,000 plus it's one year 49.61. It's one year far from the present. I'm looking for P when F is given and A and I is 8% and N is 1. Plus 2, 5, 3, 3, 9 times P over F, 8, 2. Add the other three single payments and you end up with 8,663.11. Then you can compare these two and decide about the best, which is alternative B with the higher net present force. You, here we had economic life equals to each other, five, five. We didn't need to do anything. Uh, if it was, for example, three and this one was six, then you have to replace, you, you need to use the private life uh, set project life equals to six. For this one, if it's six, you don't need to do anything. For this one, since it's three years, then you have to repeat this uh, one more time. You have six years as a useful life. The same thing that we did before for these types of the problem. Um, the only thing that we added is tax and depreciation, which is not help us to calculate the tax. Question on this. I could ask you for incremental analysis also. You consider this column and this column, subtract which one has the higher, needs the higher initial, it's this, it's gonna be this one. You, so you subtract this from this column and find the IOR if I ask. If I didn't ask you, it's better that you use net present force, which is easier to tell. All right. Any question? Oh, you had a question? No, that was it right there. Okay. Uh, so the exams, the, we have four problems. One problem is something like this, different projects or equipment. I may or may not change the method that I'm asking for. So basically, if you know how to work on this problem, you should be good for one problem. One problem for showing is about bound. So uh, work on the bound um, and make sure that you know how to work on the different problems of the bound. And the other two problems, um, I have not finalized yet, but It's not different than the, the homework problem that you have worked so far. Any question? I will post, I don't post the solution, but I will post um, the video of the lectures on the canvas, also the problems. On, um, uh, on All right. Which I one, need. Would you mind posting a sheet with just an example review problem, so similar to this, and like a, an example bond problem? Bond problem. I, I, ask, I mean, I can post the solution for the homework which I already posted, and it has bond. I yes. Oh, okay. So I, I I don't ask any different problems than the problem that you have and the homeworks, and the exams. All right, I need a volunteer to collect the evaluation form and
Just give me one second. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. So that you can do the IRR with the other questions. That's right. Yeah. 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 Y